Hey friends, it's the Fall Minis Challenge hosted by Crafted by Corey. Links to Corey's channel and the playlist will be in the description box. Let's get crafty. For this DIY, I'm using tumbling tower blocks. The um, craft sticks, the largest craft sticks that Dollar Tree sells, the 60 count, a pack of wood pile shapes, teardrops, ovals, and circles, and then the larger bamboo skewer that Dollar Tree sells. So the first part will be lining up eight tumbling tower blocks vertically, gluing them together, um, whatever glue that you would like. I for longevity, I like the wood glue, so you'll end up with something that looks like this. And I did add a little wood filler just to make this base a little bit more secure. So I'm gonna take a few craft sticks and when I'm gonna nip the ends off because we are making a wooden fall wagon. So I have to get my ends straight. Okay, so I'll use this as my template and cut my others and then we'll come back and snip the sides. Okay, I have four pieces cut. So my side pieces will be two boards high on the sides. So I need to get my shorter front and back piece. Okay, so I have four of these boards cut so I can get my sides two boards high so I have to get my front and back together okay I got my front and back boards cut and because I need these to fit in between both of these, I did do just one little extra snip on all of them to make sure that they would fit in between. So I wanna set these up with um, this bamboo skewer. I think this will be long enough, sturdy enough to hold and give the appearance I want um, on my wagon to hold my side pieces. I think if I space them like that, it will look really like a, a fall wagon. Okay, so I'm gonna make a few more so I can have these side these pieces to hold up all of the sides. So with all my pieces cut, I have um, I did find my animal toenail clipper, which made it a lot easier to cut the bamboo skewers. So I have my pieces set up so that I can attach my little supporting pieces of bamboo skewers to them. And I'm going to use Gorilla Wood Glue to attach them so I have a long lasting hold. So while the side pieces are drying, I'm going to take some of these wood circles from that multi-pack of shapes and start attaching them to my base so I can have the bottom portion of my wagon set up.
So all of these have set. So I'm gonna go ahead and assemble these, um, putting some glue down here, and then setting them up. And I'm gonna get just a little tacky. This is completely dry. All my glue is set. So to um, color this, I'm gonna use this Prang Tempera and use it like a stain where I paint it on and then wipe it off. So once that tempera dried, I just used a chalkboard tag from Dollar Tree and I attempted to use a metallic marker, but it didn't work. So I just used a white paint pen to write pumpkins 25 cents. And then I filled it with miniature white pumpkins from Dollar Tree. And that was it for this. And I didn't add a pull handle on this because it would just take up extra space on my tear tray. So I just left it like this, but I think it came out really cute. Okay, for this DIY, I have more of these wood pile shapes. I'm gonna use some of the ovals um, to make a couple of pumpkins, and I may use some of these rub-ons and stencils and a little bit of spackling to give it some texture. Okay, so I have two different size ovals from the package. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them glued together. So, I end up with two pumpkins. Okay, my glue is dry on this and I have some spackle. The spackle is on its last legs. I had to add a bit of water, but I want to give um, some texture and I think um, maybe this one would be really cool.
Okay, so all of that spackling is dry on these pumpkins. So for the smaller one, um, I think I'm gonna give this just a coat of um, antique white, although I mean, I could leave it like that. That's really beautiful, just the natural wood with the white. Okay, so for this one, I've already mixed white, uh, cottage white, and um, this lime sorbet. I want a green, a lighter green than this lime. Okay, so for this DIY, we're making a fall book stack. So you're going to need tumbling tower blocks, approximately 18, and glue them together with whatever meth method that you would like. I have already prepared mine and added a little bit of wood filling. So I'm gonna cover this with uh, Cottage White by Folk Art because I'm uh, wanting to do more um, neutral colors and I want this book stack to be a distressed white with some of the wood peeking through so I'm not going to give this full coverage I'm just gonna haphazardly paint over this so some of the wood is still exposed okay so it's not a total coverage coat of white paint I just want to distress it just a little bit more on the edges. Okay, I've got my bit of distressing done on my edging. So I've got just a little bit of this farmhouse ribbon left. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this. Another mini sunflower and a couple of cupcake picks. 
I'm all from the Dollar Tree. Go ahead and put a bit of glue here. I am really loving this mini book stack. Just a little pop of color with these tiny wooden pumpkins just really makes this just perfect. For this DIY, I have one of the favor buckets from the wedding section of Dollar Tree, um, a Dollar Tree clip pumpkin, a table scatter pumpkin, and then a pumpkin from a bag of pumpkins I got at Walmart, um, some um, ballet slipper, uh, antique white, and some embellishments, and a bit of Spanish moss. So what I'm wanting to do is to make a um, tear tray size pumpkin stack. So I want to go ahead and change these colors. I want softer colors. So I'm going to make um, this one pink and the top one will be antique white. And this is a Waverly chalk paint. green so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, change it to lavender sachet and once the paint was dry I added a bit of Spanish moss to the very bottom of the uh, lavender pumpkin and then I started to assemble my topiary. And as a final embellishment, I added a small white sunflower to the very top pumpkin and then a lace ribbon to the bucket.
for my last DIY, we're gonna take eight tumbling tower blocks. We're gonna assemble six vertically. And then take the remaining two, glue those together and put them sideways like this. So it looks like a miniature scarecrow. And then you'll end up with something that looks like this. So for my paint, the hat, I wanna go ahead and just use um, the uh, Waverly Antique Wax for the hat. So once that paint was dry, I went ahead and drew in his face with a black paint marker and gave him like a squiggly mouth and added a few stitch marks and um, tried to fill in his eyes uh, with the white marker and a little brown for the nose. And once that was finished, I used a piece of uh, black and white buffalo print animal ribbon from Dollar Tree to make a small patch for the top of his hat and then added some stitch marks and a small another one of the small white sunflowers to the brim of his hat just to add a little extra embellishment and cuteness to him. And here's everything all together on a tiered tray. I am loving how everything looks. I am really loving the white sunflowers. I think this looks really pretty and it's a nice alternative to having the golden sunflowers. I would love to know what do you think of the lighter tones for fall? Don't forget to check out the playlist. The link will be in the description box. Thanks so much for watching. Happy fall, y'all.